all right men welcome back to yet again another video on the channel and uh, today we're talking about something that i found pretty weird all right so as we all know tiktok can be a very addicting and i mean a very addicting application at times you know like maybe just me but sometimes i'll be going on the tiktok for you page for like 15 minutes next thing you know i'm on there for like a few hours because the application is a weird way of kind of uh, making you addicted and sucking you in to the entire loop of content like maybe it's because oh well uh, you know the mystery of what tiktok am i gonna see next or am i gonna find something really weird or uh you know i i enjoyed that video let's see some more like it i don't know man just something about the app it has a very addictive nature to it and um i'll be real man i get addicted to it pretty often every single time i go on my for you page which is actually pretty often now you know despite the fact i make fun of the application like uh, every single day now like clockwork it is very addicting i'll give it that so, um, you know, sometimes when you're scrolling through the For You page, you end up stumbling upon the weird side of TikTok because when you have content randomized fed to you every, like, 10 seconds, it, naturally, you're gonna find something pretty weird. And I was scrolling my For You page last night, and I stumbled upon uh, the weird side of TikTok that I genuinely had to make a video about because this TikTok couple, when I say they are weird, I mean they're, like, off the charts levels of weird. Like, normally when you see a weird TikTok couple, they're just very uh, overly clingy, that they make out every five seconds, and then this very obnoxious noxious and annoying uwu persona but normally that's just like you know a persona right it's not like how they actually act but um this couple today is just extremely bizarre and i wanted to talk about it today so before i get into the video today if you guys you know end up rocking the video and you're enjoying my content go down below hit that big red button also enable all notifications they get notified every single time i upload another brand new video like this i upload videos like these every single day to keep us entertained and hey man you may not want to miss another episode of tiktok cringe remember it's free and you can also your mind later so yeah without any further ado let's begin all right so this pro we're checking out today uh, i don't want to read out the name of but uh, i'll read the bio so um this, this lady's name is felicia and that's all i'll say and her bio reads mommy of brie age 22 engaged and 7 million heart emojis so obviously she is very happily engaged and you you would be wondering okay well she's 22 uh maybe her fiance is like you know uh 23 24 25 you know around her age but uh, uh now this dude is um he, he's a bit older i'll say that much because when you look at this video of them together it looks like her father like i'll keep it a stack with you and they uh ended up explaining how they met and where they met in this video right here and um how put it simply man it's a bit bizarre check it out so what was the first place we met in real life for the first time he stole the middle school in crestwood kentucky now, already, it sounds a bit weird, right? Like, when this dude's 50-something and she's 22, and they're saying they met at the middle school, it sounds really suspicious, man. I will not lie. But it gets worse, because somebody commented, I guess, asking, like, where they met or uh, what kind of relationship they had during this time. And apparently, this dude was her middle school teacher. So, basically, he met her when she was, like, 12 years old in middle school, and he's teaching her. And now, like, a decade later, they're in a relationship. Which, if that's true, dude, that has to be quite possibly the weirdest thing. I have heard all day because uh number one who actually keeps up with their teachers outside of school like maybe just me but when I you know finish a grade or I leave a school I don't take the time out of my life to keep up with the teachers like they're there to educate you and when you know you no longer need their education it, you move on and you never really see them again right that's kind of how it is but uh, I guess some people are now out here actually keeping up with their teachers when they finish a grade and if you do that for like a year or two okay fair enough but these two uh, apparently were in touch for like over a decade and then they decided to be a, a, a fantastic idea to get into a relationship and uh, get engaged, which is just insanely weird, bro. And I'll get into more of that later. So uh, they actually got quite a bit of flack for this entire thing, uh, rightfully so. And they decided to respond to uh, a bit of the outrage in this video right here. So he says it's illegal to date an overage boy. We're two uh, age legal adults and we love each other, right? As long as you're over the age of 18, it doesn't matter. That's right. Now, be real, man, I do have to agree with them on one thing. It isn't a legal issue. Like, as far as I know, as long as both of them are over 18, you know, the legal age of consent and they end up doing stuff, it's it's fine, right? In the legal eyes, it's fine. But it's more of a, uh, a morality thing because uh, who would want to date somebody that's, like, 30 years younger than them? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I was, like, 55 years old, posted up in my rocking chair watching a golf game. I would not want to, uh, I guess, fall in love and in get engaged with somebody who's, like, 30 years younger than me, bro. I 
I don't know. I just think that would be a bit weird, especially if this dude was actually like her teacher in middle school, because if that was the case, I, I don't know how you would feel comfortable doing that. Like, eh. Like, is that only me that thinks that way? Because I don't know, man. If I was like, let's say a middle school teacher and I ended up, you know, keeping in touch with one of my students, you know, for a decade and even when they became like the legal age to do stuff, I don't know. I just wouldn't feel comfortable doing stuff with them. Like, I don't know. To me, it would just feel insanely weird. And in my humble opinion, this whole ordeal is really weird. Now, I will say one thing. Uh, I would not go out and call this dude a PP because in my opinion, I, I don't think he is, right? Like, there's no evidence to back that up if they both did stuff when they were, you know, both legal adults, and it's legal, right? There's no way he can be a PP. Yeah, I, I would argue 30 years is a bit weird. Like, the dude is old enough to be your dad. Like, quite literally, he's old enough to be your dad. But I I'm not gonna come a PP, bro. I don't feel comfortable doing that, and it's just simply not true. Uh, but there are other TikToks besides their, uh, little relationship here. It's just insanely weird, bro. Like, check this one out. Now, somebody commented saying, do you ever worry about your little girl seeing your videos one day? Because apparently these two actually do have a kid, which uh, does surprise me quite a bit because this dude looks so old to the point where like nothing but dust is gonna fly out of his cock if he were to try to reproduce. So uh, the fact that the kid actually does surprise me and does impress me a little bit, I will not lie. And she responds to this comment by saying, she has freedom of expression as do I. Now, I have zero idea what freedom of expression has to do with the worry that your little girl is gonna find, you know, the sex tiktoks you're posting but okay dude all right i think i need to go to bed i am on the wrong side of tiktok this, this one is low-key kind of facts like uh, if this popped up on your for you page what would you guys do tell me in the comments below about the whole little girl thing i do kind of feel bad for their daughter like imagine you grow up you go on tiktok and you find your mother posting these kind of videos on tiktok bro i don't know man i'd be insanely weirded out and especially come to find out that like her father is like 50 years old and she's 20 like like, I can't be the only one that would find that weird. This one, I just don't understand. Like, you poured flour all over yourselves and on the floor, like, a, a good, good, good job? Uh, okay? What was the purpose in doing that? Like, were you guys getting your freak on with the flour? Uh, were you guys hosting an at-home middle school science project? <laughs> Get it? Okay, no more, no more. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Dog, okay. Did I consent to seeing that, bro? D -d Did I say yes? To having my eyeballs absolutely violated by that like t come on dog. I know he's like too old for you, but this is just amazing I wish the bet nah, okay. Tell me what is so beautiful about this bro What is so amazing about it, bro? Cuz I don't know about you when I watch this happen This man is wearing a daddy t-shirt doing her nails. What the fuck? <laughs> is this what you find entertaining? The comments are just as bad as the videos itself, bro. I'm done, man. I'm checking out here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like for my pain and suffering. Hope you guys want to keep watching my videos. Uh, click on the thing is popping up uh, on the screen. I'll see more, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to throw up. I'll catch you later. Bye.